Hello, this is Mikkel Rogers, and I wanted to give a quick video tutorial on how to put together a virtual performance. Um, I'm using a software called Movavi Video Editor Plus, and it just happens to be the one that I like because it is similar to uh, the Apple product iMovie, and so, and I use iMovie a lot. Um, it's about $70 to purchase. It's about um, somewhere around there, and it's a one-time purchase. There's no subscription or anything like that. So this program does a lot of things that I'm not going to go into. I'm basically just going to go over how to put together a basic collage of students performing together. Okay, And then if you want to explore more on your own, you sure can. Um, but this will give you the basics. Okay, So the first thing we're going to do, I've, added, I've created a new project. So what I'm going to do is add files. And I've selected a clip of Leroy Anderson's sleigh ride. And uh, there's an audio clip, and I've had three videos here. I'm going to open those, and they will import into the media bin here. Now, the reason I use an audio clip is because the students, when they record their videos, are listening to the audio clip on headphones. That way, everybody is playing at the same tempo, hopefully. And uh, when they send the video, we don't hear the backup track. We just hear them playing. And so uh, that helps to keep everything together. All right. So what I'm going to do first is take the audio clip and put it into the audio track, which you can tell is the one with the music note here. Now, this slider right here will allow you to zoom in or out of the sound wave. Okay, And this right here is a volume bar. It's at 100% right now. You can take it down to zero or anything in between. I usually like to keep it at 100% until I've got the students lined up. And then after that, I'll take it down to 50% so you hear less of the backup track and more of the students. Uh, and now, the first thing we're going to do is put in the tuba player. So we'll select the tuba player and drag him to the video track. And the video track has a little icon of film strip, so that's where that comes from. Okay. Now, you'll notice that the tuba part is on downbeat. Boom, boom, boom. So what we need to do is line that part up with the music. So I'm going to take the music here and drag that over until I think it's about right. And then we can play it and check. Okay, we can press the play button or the space bar. Either one works. Okay, that's actually pretty good. If you want to fine tune that, you can go in closer. Okay, and again, just get it until it's exactly the way you want it. That's assuming, of course, that the student is right on. Okay, but that'll give you a good way to kind of line that up. All right, so let's see if we got it now. Yeah, actually, I think I liked it better before, so we can just undo that. Okay, uh, and we'll just keep it there for right now. Now, what you're going to want to do is actually crop this picture and put it in the collage. Okay, so you're going to double click on it and you can create a fade in. That means that it will fade in the video over a period of however long. I usually set it to about half a second. And then you're going to go over to the, you can also do a fade out if you want to. You're going to go over to the tools here, click on video editing. And this gives you a crop option. So I'm going to crop so that I see all of the tuba, the lovely full-size tuba. But I don't get all of his legs. We don't need that. So then we hit apply. And you notice that cropped it. So now we want to resize it and put it in the collage. So we will play, or excuse me, we will select overlay, which is right below the crop option. And overlay allows you to resize and move it anywhere you want to on the collage. Okay, we'll put him right there. And let's make him a little bit smaller just for kicks, you know. I've put as many as, I think the most I've put in this collage is uh, about 26, 27 videos. It gets complex, but you can do it with three, you can do it with 25. Uh, 
assume it's unlimited, uh, get however many you can fit in there. And so now you'll notice, I'll go back to the beginning here, and you will notice that the tuba player will fade in when you play. <laughs> So I'm satisfied with that. Then what we're going to do is this track right here is a title track. You can tell by the T here. And what that is going to allow you to do is to add, uh, you know, text either as subtitles or, you know, super titles or whatever. Um, I usually don't mess with those, but we want to add another video. So we're going to go to add track, select add a video track. Okay, then drag the second player, the clarinetist, down here. Now, you'll notice that the clarinetist actually started their video a little bit longer before they started the recording. So we've got to line that up, all right, no problem. What we're going to do is go over here and take out the first bit of the recording. Okay, so uh, to the point where we can get down to right where she comes in. Now, if you know Sleigh Ride, you know that clarinet comes in on the off beat. It'll be between the tuba beats. Boom, bum, 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 bum. All right, so I'm taking a guess that this is about right. Let's try it. <laughs> Okay, to my ear, she's slightly ahead of the beat, so let's push it back just a little bit. And I'm just clicking and dragging. So there's a little bit of an inconsistency there on, um, on that, and you can find the best way to get it as close as possible to where you want it. Okay, and that one I'm happy with, so I'll leave that one there. Okay. And again, you can adjust just like you adjusted the volume on the sound. You can also adjust the volume on all the video tracks as well. So if your clarinetist is too loud for the rest of the ensemble, you just lower their volume a little bit. Nice. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and crop it. Okay. And get all of the clarinets and little of the wall. Okay. So then we'll crop that. Apply. And then we will do a overlay so that we can resize it and put it in the collage. Okay, so we'll put it right there. Now, you'll notice that the tuba video will start before the clarinet video. So what you need to do if you want them to start at the same time, you can just drag out again what you had shortened earlier because it retains what you've shortened. And now, double click it so that you can do a fade in. All right. So now, you should be able to have both of them fade in at the same time. And there you go. Okay. And now you've got two in the collage. Let's keep going. We're going to go add the flute player. Okay, now the way we got to add a track first for the video. Okay, and we're going to add flute. Okay, now the flute does the same little rhythm as the clarinet. Bup, 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 bup. So we're going to line that up. Okay. And we'll see how we go. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, if you just want to hear the flute, you can click on the sound bar here, and it takes out the tuba and the clarinet, and you can also take out 
all of it if you want to. You can take out the audio as well. But I want to see if the flute player matches with the audio. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, if you can't hear that quite well, you can always lower the volume here. See how that works. Okay, so I'm satisfied with that. And I just took that back up to 75%, okay? Now, what you can do is you can uh, bring up, or excuse me, bring down the clarinet and bring down the tuba a little bit to uh, match it with the flute volume. You know, just fiddle with that until you're happy with it. Okay, and now we're gonna extend this back out. Okay, so that they all fade in at the same time. We will fade in here by double clicking and then we're going to do the crop. And you can decide how you want to do it. Let's get that whole flute in there. Why not? Okay, so we'll apply that. And we'll do an overlay. And there you go. Okay, and set that in the collage. All right, now you can just add as many as you want to. Okay, now I'm going to show you one more thing that's going to be really, really helpful. Let's say that a student missed a note, okay? Let's say that this note right here on the flute part is wrong, all right? What you can do is you can click on that, hit the scissors tool, that's going to chop, and then you can click on this side. It's not cutting the video at all. It's just putting a little place there where you can create a sub video within the video. And I'm gonna chop this side. Okay, so I just wanna turn this one note off. So now I just take the volume take it all the way down to zero and now this note is not played by the flute that's really really handy for getting a uh, clarinet squeak out of the uh, recording just take that note out <laughs> oh I wish we could do that in real life huh but there you go and so after you've done that and you play it um, you may not be able to hear it <laughs> But if you would isolate the flute part without the music, you would hear that the um, that note is no longer there. Okay. So anyway, and uh, and then you can do a select all, and then hit export, and that will create the video as a file, which then you can upload to YouTube or wherever else you want to do it. You can you can use any of the file sequences there. So that is a very, very, very basic way of putting together a video collage. Again, this program does a lot more than that, but if you just want to get your kids playing together um, and doing it from individual videos, that's a great way to do it, okay? And I hope that has helped, and uh, thank you for listening to me ramble on here, okay? All right, everybody have a good day.